Hi everyone, it's Ellen. Welcome back to day five of my week of uploads. And today we are looking at a celestial out of space theme. So I was looking through some of my stash and realized I have loads of out of space, moon, sun and star ephemera. Um, and it's not something I reach for all the time, which is surprising because I love it. I, I think it's beautiful. And so I thought I would make a feature of all of these pieces today mainly focusing on this creative paper pack from the works that I got recently. So this pack contains pattern papers and stickers and postcards and lots of really interesting things. Um, and you'll see me look through it a bit later so you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So before I started filming, I just collaged one of the pattern papers from that book onto the left-hand page. That's that beautiful pink and purple night sky pattern paper. And then we're actually starting a new month today as well. So we're going into December 2022. And I like to create just a little, almost like a title page, just to um, show that we're going into a new month. So to do that, I've used these old Puffy Alpha stickers um, to just write out December. Behind them, I put this handmade paper scrap that I had. Um, and that's just going onto a flip out piece of paper. And um, so I can put lots of photos behind it. So yeah, I've written out the word December and then to make sure that that doesn't go anywhere, I've stapled through each letter as well, just because I'm not convinced that's overly secure. Um, and then I've got this clear sticker of a planet or the moon, I'm not 100% sure, and I've just chopped that in half and stuck that above the December title. So one of the things that I wanted to add to my journal is this moon um, collage and this was, I saw somebody post it on Facebook, I, I'm not really sure where it came from, but um, this was the moons of 2022 and I thought this was beautiful and obviously it works really well with the celestial theme. Um, so I backed that with some more of that handmade paper and on this gold label sticker I just wrote out the moons of 2022 and I'm sticking that down and I'm not really adding anything else um, to my page other than some decorative pieces just because this was really um, beautiful as it was I didn't really want to take away from those lovely moon images I've stuck a bulldog clip sticker from that same um, sticker sheet where I got the label just to the top of the photo of the moons and I'm sticking that label along the side and then I can get to decorating this page with all of my fun moon and out of space themed things so I have these pack of clear stickers I think they're all supposed to be the moon there might be some planets as well and um, they these are gorgeous again I just haven't reached for them in ages um, but I love them so I've stuck a few of them onto the page unfortunately some of my journal is off camera I said in my previous post I've zoomed in on my camera by accident and I didn't really realize until it came to editing the videos so some of the things I do are not quite on camera. I didn't want to just scrap these videos. So um, hopefully it's not too annoying and um, it will go back to normal. I will zoom out again um, in a couple of videos time. So I've got these astronaut stickers. I cannot remember for the life of me where I got these from, um, but they are really cool. They're, they're um, men in space suits doing things like playing guitar, um, holding a flag just floating through the air there's loads of different ones so I've dotted them all over the page as I really loved them again they're just not something I reach for um, and then I'm leaving this page as it is I'm not doing anything more to it because I just love how it's looking like that so in the pack of the moon stickers that I had was this jar and I think you were supposed to sort of label them up and put the moons inside the jar but I didn't want to do that I instead used it to hold a photo of Theo. So I um, stuck the photo down onto the jar and then I stuck the whole thing onto some black card and then I'm just trimming it out and I'm gonna add that as another um, feature piece to my page. And I'm gonna go back in with some more of those clear moon stickers that I had. This one is showing the different phases of the moon, which I really loved. I thought that was really pretty. I've also got some um, moon stickers from a different collection. No idea where they're from, um, but I'm just throwing all the moons at the page at this point. Um, and I've got the 
jar, I'm getting the jar stuck down now. So then on the other part of the flap, I've got sort of an awkward space and I wasn't really sure what to add in that um, area. So I'm just gonna, again, add some decorative pieces. I like to do this every so often. My journals are always really photo heavy, which is brilliant. Um, but sometimes I don't get to be as creative as I'd like to be. And I was really enjoying um, just making things pretty on this page. It, it made a nice change because a lot of my journal is about record keeping and memory keeping. And sometimes I just wanna have a play with some of my pretty um, ephemera pieces. And that's really what I did on these few pages. I got a pack from Shein of these almost like washi tape stickers um, and again celestial themed all of them so I've added them in the gaps on the page and I'll add another astronaut sticker above to the two washi strips that I've got on the right hand page so moving on I've got the other other side of the flip out paper um, and I wanted to add these photos that I took of Theo in the snow so this was the first time he saw the snow properly um, which was lovely he was really excited about it and I wanted to add the collage so I've sliced it through the middle because I'm putting it onto a folded page I didn't want to um, have too much bulk on the fold so I just cut where the fold is going to be through the photo and then add sort of a millimetre gap between the photos when I'm sticking them down and that just stops there being all that bulk between the fold and um, so it lies flat. I've added another one of those moon washi tape stickers just to the right hand page of that collage. Moving on to my final two pages now and I have these gorgeous vellum stickers of moon of the moon and the night sky and um, they are sort of rectangular shaped and I wanted to use them to create a collage on this map paper with my black and white photos of Theo so this took a little bit of wiggling around um, just to make sure everything fit in nicely but the end result is really eye-catching and it's all I do to this page is just the two photos and the two lovely images of the moon and um, it just looks really clean and complete as a whole. Um, it didn't really need anything extra adding to it so I didn't journal or anything on it because I just thought it looked so lovely how it was. So I'm leaving that as it is and working on the next and final page. So I'm going through the um, paper pad book that I got from the works and um, I'm taking one of the really pretty pattern papers, they're double sided which I love and I'm turning that into an envelope just to add a few more um, photos inside. Um, so I'm just going to fold the paper into an envelope shape. Um, and I'm not gonna uh, stick it down or anything because I will um, stitch it together. The only thing I'm adding is some tape just to the flat part of the envelope. Um, it just reinforces it a bit more and when I'm putting things in and out of the envelope, it just makes it feel a bit more strong. This is quite thin pattern paper. It's really good for um, sort of collaging onto your journals. So because of that, it's just not overly sturdy to use as an envelope. But adding the sellotape onto it is a nice way around that. I'm then going to look through the book for some things to decorate the envelope with 
and I end up with a postcard, a tag, and then sort of a journal card piece. Uh, this takes me a little while to decide what I wanted to work with because there's lots of really beautiful things in here. Um, and I knew I wanted something to write on. I knew I wanted to add some journaling to it somewhere on the page. So the back of the postcard was perfect for that. And then, yeah, I just wanted to make it look pretty. So I've got this journaling card that says, you shine like the stars, and then the tag has a little wolf on it. So I've stitched around the ephemera pieces. I also added some lace and I threaded through the tag with some gold twine. I then stitched the envelope together and journaled on my uh, postcard piece that I have on the envelope and filled the envelope with photos and this is my uh, December celestial pages all done so I hope you enjoyed this video and as always thank you very much for being here bye everyone